What are some tips for someone with no fighting experience to win in a fight? If they've got their hands down. Angled slightly and sort of looking away but keeping you in the corner of their eye. They're lining up for a sucker punch. Never use haymakers. Hooks and football kicks. They're fucking stupid and will get you beat real fast. The trick is straight punches using your hip to throw your arm a bit more. Try to get in close so the aforementioned kicks and haymakers won't be able to get enough power in. Keep your hands up. If you have to dodge go sideways instead of back so you keep the distance advantage. But either way don't get in a fight in the first place. The eyes are the groin of the face. Edit. How does this comment have more upvotes than I have Carmelol? Edit thanks for the gold nugs guys. Footwork is important. Stand so that a punch won't knock you over. Don't lean into a punch. Also know what advantage you have over your opponent. If he's bigger than you. Try to move to the side or behind him. Moving's harder for him so make him move. If he's taller. Get in close so his reach advantage is taken away. If he's lactose intolerant. Throw milk at him. Bart. Remember when Tom had you in that headlock and you screamed. I'm a hemophiliac. And when he let you go. You kicked him in the back? Homer. Yeah. Bart. Will you teach me how to do that? Homer. Sure. Boy. First. You gotta shriek like a woman and keep sobbing until he turns away in disgust. That's when it's time to kick some back. And then when he's lying down on the ground. Bart. Yeah. Homer. Kick him in the ribs. Bart. Yeah. Homer. Step on his neck. Bart. Yeah. Homer. And run like hell. If you aren't in a sanctioned sports competition. There is no such thing as dirty. If there's no way to avoid it. Try to keep a low center of balance and make sure to keep your feet on the ground. Don't kick or anything. Once you lose your balance and you're on the ground. It's over. Edit. Yes. Apparently everyone and their brother has jiu-jitsu training. The question literally says for people with no fighting skills. If you do go down. Bring them with you. But generally. Try to keep your balance. Aim for the nose. Most people will stop right there if you get them in the nose. That's my purse. I don't know you. Kick. Remember there are no rules in a fight. Protect your head. Fight dirty. Protect your head. At the first chance to disengage. Take it. Protect your fucking head. Get the first punch in. And keep pushing your fist after it makes contact. Protect your mother fucking head. Tuck your chin. Distract. Sucker punch. Are you really going to try and fight me with a cop car right there? Protect your goddamned head idiot. Hands way up. Go for the sensitive, soft spots. Eyes. Ears. Nose. Throat. Solar plex. Groin. Armpits. And frontal part of the elbow. Oh. And don't assume you know how to throw a punch. You'll get boxers fractures. Edit. These are just sensitive points on the body and not necessarily points where you should strike an opponent. Armpits are sensitive because they contain nerves, blood vessels, and lymph nodes. Try pinching that area or gouging your thumb or a pointy object into it. The cubital fossa, frontal part of the elbow, is also sensitive and has thin skin. Eyes are great for gouging as well. Don't assume fights are won solely by striking or grappling your opponent. Also, some of these are only something you should do when you're trying to protect your life. Don't attack someone's throat in a normal scuffle. Throw sand in your opponent's face. Don't whip out four lightsabers and start twirling them in circles. Run. Being in a fight is extremely dumb and risky. It should be avoided at all costs. Even if you are trained. Edit. Or de-escalate. Again. Fighting is dumb. And I say that as a guy who has been boxing for seven years at this point. Edit 2. Let's be more specific. You should never be trying to win a fight outside an organized sport competition. You should be trying to avoid it. And if inevitable. To disengage from it and get to safety. Voluntarily going into a fight with the intent to win is dumb and reckless. It is extremely easy to sustain or cause a lingering injury or death in combat. The kinda guy who seek fights with stranger tend to be armed or have a bunch of friend ready to curb stomp you. If you want to protect yourself. There is no quick tip. Go get actual training. I guarantee you they will repeat this very advice too. Get naked. I took a YMCA self-defense class once. The gist of the class was. Avoid fights. 
Don't be a macho man. Run away if you have to. If it becomes physical. Be very loud to draw attention. Your goal in self-defense is to buy time to escape the area. A kick to the groin or palm strike to the nose. Eyes. Or chin are very effective. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Lots of bad advice here. He asked how you win a fight. Not how you run away from a fight. That groin. Nose. Testicle thing is horrible advice that they don't even teach anymore. The leg of your dominant hand six inches back. Feet shoulder length apart. Hands held with knuckles touching your cheeks and elbows in. That's your stance. Don't lift your feet. But pivot them 45 degrees when you throw a punch. Same foot as the hand you're throwing. You want to feel the entire side of your body that's throwing pivot. This is where a majority of a punch's power comes from. After each punch return your knuckles to your cheek before throwing the next. While throwing a punch focus on keeping your wrist straight like your forearm as a metal pole. Don't do this your wrist is broken. Stay tight. Someone dives in for a takedown shoot your legs back and put your weight on them. Throw elbows any and all opportunities. Edit. Guess I'll continue adding because I left a lot out. There's lots to include. You want to keep equal weight on both feet. Don't put all your weight on one leg, if that's lifted you lose all balance. Have the foot of your dominant hand, which should be back, with your toes pointing to either 2 or 3 o'clock. If someone aims for a body blow lower your forearm, which should be touching your body if your knuckles are properly placed, and head as your knuckles never leave your cheeks. When you throw a punch you will really really want to lean forward or backwards, no not do this. Biggest indicator that someone doesn't know what they're doing. If you do this you cannot move your feet at all or pivot properly thus losing all power. In terms of movement you should be doing a shuffle step, step with one foot and lightly drag the other. Feels weird. Especially keeping your stance, dominant hands foot 6 inches back plus shoulder length apart. When you step your feet will be slightly more than shoulder length. Shouldn't be more than 3 inches. You go left move the left foot first. You go right move your right foot. Never cross your legs. Bigger people hit harder because they have an easier time putting mass into the hit. The same thing can be accomplished with pivoting your body appropriately. People get knocked out not by the force of the hit but the jarring in their brain. Which is why you see videos of someone barely getting touched and getting knocked out. This is why upper cuts, fives and six a, and hooks, threes and fours, are so often responsible for knockouts, it's harder to see them. You see a hit coming and your body involuntary tenses up the proper neck muscles to prevent brain jarring. So hitting someone at novel angels is ideal. If your dominant hand is right your right leg should be back. Your left leg is forward. In this position punches with your left hand are jabs, one. These are the only punches you should throw consecutively. Keep jabbing pretty much non-stop. Punches with the right hand are crosses, two. These you put extra power into. You jab to set up a power FL cross. Left hook, three. Right hook, four. Left uppercut, five. Right upcut, six. You always want to go. Even. Odd. Even. Odd etc. As the knuckle touches your cheek after throwing a punch the other punch should already be leaving. Go for the nuts and eyes. Scratch. Bite. Pull hair. You punch through something. If you want to punch a guy in the stomach. You try to punch behind his stomach. If you were to aim for his stomach. You won't hit it very hard. Here is how to survive a knife attack. Why what did you do? Man? Windmill. With your arms not your penis. Shoot from a safe distance. Always pull guard, so he doesn't get any points for a takedown. If the person you are fighting is taller than you, don't try to punch them in the face, aim for the throat. They won't really expect it and it is very painful. Strike. Scream. Run. Edit. It got featured on Sir Reddit. Make sure to hit up training mode. Practice your combos. Look up your frame data. It'll help you gain advantage against gym players. Tip number one. Don't ask Redditors to teach you to fight. No no no. Guys. You are not understanding. This guy is standing in front of a person who's trying to stab him still. Looking at his phone. Waiting for answers. Liver is located on the right side of a person's body. Instant sit down if you hit it right. Liver shots for days. Sweep the leg. Johnny. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. 
If you would like to see more content like this in the future, subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.